Hey YouTubers, uh, you've reached the Debunkify channel. Uh, we're going to be showing without a shadow of a doubt that you can get a power magnification or a multiplication or amplification. It doesn't really matter what you call it. It's just that we can get more power into a load. So this is our load right here. Uh, sort of like a power load resistor because the wire here has a resistance so this does qualify as a load and we're going to be showing kind of like what we did in the last video 100% of the energy exiting out of a capacitor and doing 100% work on the load and we're calling that 100% work 12 volts stored in the capacitor and dropping it down to 1 volt and then stopping it now when this capacitor right here starts out with 12 volts okay it's 10,000 microfarad okay uh, at 12 volts that is equivalent to 0.720 joules of energy okay or 720 millijoules of energy that's stored in here and all that energy Okay, so when we drop this down to one volt, that means there's five millijoules left of energy in the capacitor. So you just subtract that five millijoules from 720, and 715 millijoules of energy is going into our load right here, which is just an inductor. Uh, so the load is doing. 715 milliwatts of work and as you can see with this equation right here you can see that energy obviously is equal to work so with that said now the way we're going to be taking the output from this load charging this capacitor up over here right now I got it shorted to keep it on zero volts so we can start from zero and uh, this is the timing circuitry it's just a 555 timer circuit um, and it's got 12 volts across it right here this is just the power source to run our switching circuitry right here and of course this meter is re reading the voltage here so you just follow the meter around this is the negative of the meter. It's measuring, uh, let's see, this is the green wire. It's me measuring the negative here, and the positive, of course, is uh, reading, being read right here, with the red lead. The volt, and the voltage over here, in this capacitor, okay, is measured by this meter. You just follow that around. It's reading the yellow wire going to the positive. And then the other side, here it was the other side of the meter all right so that's everything in this circuit and we're going to temporarily use this battery to charge our capacitor up 12 volts and then we're going to get rid of it so let's take the short off that was to keep it at zero volts temporarily charge this up to 12 volts and we're going to start it at 12 volts and we know already that at 12 volts when we drop it down to 1 volt we will have sent out 100% of the energy from the capacitor which is 715 millijoules of energy doing work in our load that is equivalent to 715 milliwatts of power okay <clears throat> excuse me so we'll start this we'll turn it on right here this is our little switch we'll start it right when that reaches 12 volts well started a little early that's okay so we're getting charging up over here and uh, the voltage is dropping out of there so, transferring 100% of the energy from here to here, okay, and we're getting it out over here. 
And we're gonna stop this at one volt. So we know that that's 715 millijoules. So let's try. Okay, we got a little bit less than one volt. That's okay. We got 10 volts over here. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna swap that out with this one over here. And also, what we're gonna do, we're gonna take this battery completely off because we don't need it anymore. And uh, we're going to put it on here. So there's our one volt. There's our 9.95 volts. So let's, let's start from right there. And now we're gonna drop that down to one volt as well while this charges back up okay so let's wait for that to get down to one volt and here in a minute we're going to add up all the work done on our load right here okay so it's getting down towards one volt eight volts in there and i think that's enough to show there let's stop that okay we we'll went down a little below that's okay and so let's do that one more time let's just swap that out Put this one right here okay we're just swapping it out is all we're doing and now this one goes over here okay and as you can see we've got our roughly one bolt there 8.39 volts here so <clears throat> let's start that let's drain that all the way down to one volt and I think this is pretty much all it takes to show that we've already gone beyond the 715 milliwatts of work in our load so this is obviously a power magnification of work done and uh, we'll stop it here at one volt there we go got it right on the dot got seven volts over here heck let's swap it again we'll swap this out bring this over here just like that and this one over here and we could do this almost all day long um okay one volt for 7.06 volts so let's do it again and we'll drain that down to one volt and we're getting volts up over here and so what we're doing is we're taking basically the same 100% energy transferring from point A to point B and let's stop this we go we got it down to one volt 5.87 volts so let's swap that out again I'm not sure how many times I'm going to do this but uh like I said we could do this for a very long time on there like that this is our negative Put that on all right, so we got our one volt over here and 5.86 volts over here. So let's turn that on right here and drain that down to one volt. So meanwhile, we're charging this back up. So you can see all the work that's really being done on this load right here. <laughs> and so we're going to add that up at the very end. Let's we'll stop this at one volt. I think this would be good enough to show uh, ultimate evidence. There we go. One volt there. 4.88 volts there. But you know what? Let's just do this one more time. Just to get a good amount of work done on our resistive load. Right here. Switch that out. Back right here. 
that's the right way. One bolt, yes. And then uh, put this back here. All right, so we got 4.86 volts. We'll start from there. We'll drop that down to one volt. Meanwhile, we got voltage going up over here. Now, as you can see, it's ultimately going down, but as it's doing so, we are doing work on our load right here. So we stop it. We'll just stop that and call that one volt. And we still have about four volts left over here. So, so as you can see, our load has done more work. And let's add that up here in a minute. But uh, that that's our uh, power and work, okay? And which is uh, supposed to be equivalent to the energy that we started out with, but it's not. So if energy is equal to work. Okay, then how are we getting more work than the 100% energy that we started out with? Well, we would need more energy, right? So, if I had a conventional mind and said that, well, it's the same energy, we're just transferring it around and in so doing, it's like what I have on my blog. It's a, I have an analogy of uh, one gallon of water. If you pour that over, a paddle wheel okay and then it, that paddle wheel is doing the equivalent work of the energy falling over it but if we catch the water underneath the paddle wheel then we can just bring that water back up and we can continuously keep using the same energy to do more work on our load and that would be the only way to be able to get energy the same 100% even to uh, basically pass through the load without the load consuming it and then being able to transfer most of it over here for reuse and in that way that's a pretty plausible explanation and that we could take the same 100% energy that we started with and keep reusing it over and over again on a load that doesn't really consume it and the load is still able to do work so that's everything uh, this is the ultimate evidence of a uh, work being done on a load that is much much higher than the amount that we originally started with with one discharging of all 100% of our energy so let's add that up and uh, that's it uh, if you're new to the channel Please subscribe and uh, please like the video and uh, make comments if you will and I'll see you on the next video.